I've just done the spring layout for the trail. So there's the uh, spring set in position and uh, I'm going to beaver tail the trailer so I need to know where the rear shackle mount is which is this one here and uh, so from there back will be a cut and um, the, uh, that's where the strings will go and so on. But, uh, So that's the first chassis rail. Now I'll go and do the cut and the bend. The second one. There we have the two rails made now. So that is the basic chassis layout. I have just tacked together those sections. I have a assembly piece in here to give me the right uh, width and I just tacked in another bar across there to keep everything all parallel. So that's the, uh, that's the back of the trailer here. Well there we are so far with the tandem trailer, it's a chassis uh, just laid out like so, uh, it's basically tacked together, there's still more to go into it, the uh, drawbar installed and it's a flat plane trailer, there's no, the drawbar's not under the, under the deck because I wanted to have a nice flat through, uh, I'm going to have winch mount at the front and um, the checker plate will be on the higher sections here, it'll be on the lower section in there so it'll be a step down the middle there that I can actually lay wheels and uh, different things just to give me a little bit of st extra storage. But I've lifted the frame up onto trestles and now I'm going to uh, just do some welding before I continue doing more of the uh, bars and so on.
so that's a bit more welding on the chassis. The front sections are there with the lower, the lower part. It's going, as I said before, it's going to have the checker plate on top of that, and it's going to be in, stepped down in the middle bit in here. I'm just doing these centre sections across here. Got a um, clamped section in place at the moment. Just been welding that off. So about to continue on. So I've just got it on the block and tackle now. It's hanging off that, uh, that sling and I'm going to lower the whole trailer down. I'm taking the front trestle out. I'm going to lower the whole trailer down and um, then turn it over and start getting the axles and springs underneath it. Well there it is halfway on its way to being turned over. So there's the ch uh, trailer chassis turned over. Uh, I've just um, clamped the springs onto it. The location's already been done. Uh, so I'll come through tomorrow and I will re uh, weld all the positions that aren't welded uh, axles in and then we'll turn it back over and it'll be starting to look more like a trailer. And then I can use that to take that to all the places I've got to to get the final job done on it. And then that bit goes just in there. I'll weld that in. So that's the drawbar uh, welded in. That's uh, some gusset in there. That's actually a lower gusset I put under the drawbars. Uh, put a 45 degree tape on it and block the end in. So there's the other side. There's the other little gusset there. And that section there goes right through and uh, connects the drawbar solidly into the main chassis rail. Is it the springs and the axles. I've just dropped the axles in right now and um, it's important to remember if anyone's building a trailer when you get to this position um, always if you've got brakes on it always put the um, axles in before you weld all the uh, the hangers for the springs in because you then have to if you don't actually do it that way you've got to then go ahead and pull this apart to put the axle in because the drum brake doesn't fit between the spring and the chassis. Measured, there's my measuring point there, this has got to move, which I'll move when I do it. That one there is set up already in the centre. This one here, same, I'll move that into position when I, before I weld it. Cross gussets are in, cross bars are in. They've got a gusset on the edges. And the front one there, it's a different gusset because that's a heavier member there. Bit there. That's a, got a 50-50 there, and that's a 50-50 going across, or two inch if you if you're that way inclined. Once again, 50-50 box section, and then the last one across there, which has the um, the same as the front, because once again, this is onto a. Uh,